All right, and we're back. Uh, we're going to look at this triangular prism right here. We know this is a triangular prism because my base is a triangle, and it's connected with my top, which they're the same, um, and it's connected with my rectangles. And of course, that's the definition of a prism. Has the you name it by the base. The base and top is the same, and the sides are connected with rectangles. So to find the surface area of this one here, well, can I find the area of a rectangle? Yes, I can. Can I find the area of a triangle? Yes, I can. Can I add them up together? Yes, I can. There we go. Surface area. So let's just start. Uh, I'm going to start off with the triangles. If you look at the triangles, it has a base of 2 and a height of 2. Okay. So we know that the area, let's move this around, we know that the area of a triangle is half of my square or rectangle, which is base times height. This one here, I have half of, well, 2 times 2. So it's going to be half of 4, which is 2. So the area of this triangle here is 2. Um, well, if you remember my last video where I said, well, do I have to do that all over again for here? No, they're the same. So if it's the same, I have this one twice. So I have two groups of 2. There we go. And then this one over here, the area of a rectangle, well, area of a rectangle is, of course, length times width, or base times height. Um, and I can see here, my length and width is 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 by 5. So here, my area is going to be 2 by 5. 2 by 5 is, of course, 10. Now, do I need to do that three more times? So I have to do 2 times 5, 2 times 5, 2 times 5? No, 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 I don't need that. I have this one time, two times, three times. So not only do I have this twice, two groups of two, I'm also going to have three groups of ten. So here I have two groups of two, which is, which is four, plus three groups of ten, which is thirty. And all together, add them all up, I have a total of thirty-four. Look how easy that is. Just like that. Find the area of my simple shapes, then add them together to find the area of my 3D, the surface area of my 3D shape. Uh, this one's a little bit more advanced. Uh, we'll look at this one down here. This one here we looked at in class real quick that if I have my base as a square and I fold these up and they meet at a single point, it's going to create a pyramid. So I have my square pyramid and this one up here, remember my base shape is a triangle, so I'll have a triangular pyramid. Well, can I find the surface area of this? Can you find the surface area of a square? Can you find the surface area of a or triangle? Yes, yes, let's do it. Uh, just grab one more piece of paper here. This one here, I'm going to start off with my rectangle, or I'm sorry, my square. My square is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the area of my square, so my surface area is going to equal the area of my square plus the area of my triangle. And that's, that's, a, that's a triangle. Well, is it the area of just one triangle, or is it the area of 1, 2, 3, 4 triangles? So there's four triangles that are all the same. So it's four times the area of that triangle. All right, well, let's look at this. The area of this square, which is 5 by 5. So that's 5 times 5, right? And then I'm going to add on four groups of, well, what's the area of this triangle? This triangle here, a base of 5 with a height of 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's half of my base times height. Okay, so I know the area of the square is 25. And then I need four groups of, well, what's half base times height? So this is half of my 5 times 4. So I keep carrying down my 25 plus four groups of, well, what's half of this? That's half of 20, which is, of course, four groups of 10. I'll just kind of work backwards here. Um, carry this down. I continue with my 25 because that's the area of my square. And then my area of my one triangle is 10, but how many do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4. I have four of them. So all those areas together is going to be 40. So I add up the four triangles plus the square, and I'll have a total of 65. So the surface area of this um, square pyramid is 65. And you can do this with all my shapes, complicated shapes like this. If you find the area up here, you can split these up into rectangles and triangles. I can find um, all these different triangles. I can do one triangle and times by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do this with so many different shapes as long as you look at 
my base shapes. Can I do rectangles? Can I do triangles? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. You can do surface area. No problem. Hope these ones help, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.